What is up, guys? My name is Jackal, and we're here for another part of our Breath of Fire adventure. We're here at the very forefront of video game ASMR. So make sure you guys pop in the headphones, throw me in the pocket for gaming that is best enjoyed in the background. Especially because this is a uh, it's a turn-based RPG. So, you know, let's face it. You're not really missing anything. Though, uh, I guess... Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Because today is not going to be a very asmr day today. I'm not going to lie. We... Are going to be ranting today. Because... We're going to talk... I mean, it's in the title. You know what we're about to talk about. I have to say... Slipknot fans really are, like, the most annoying fucking douchebags. JK, 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 JK. But for real. They're some of the most annoying fans in the world. You know, I just recently got back into listening to the band. They were mainly, like, a middle school and high school band for me back in the mid... The mid... Ooh, excuse me. 2000s. So, like, you know, after their Volume 3 album came out, like, I was a, I was a really big fan of theirs. Like, a lot of their music really shaped a lot of the way that... Damn! Their music definitely pushed me towards the kind of music that, you know, I fucking listen to now. But, you know, that's a name that basically anybody... Like, Slipknot is a household name. And that's not really a bad thing. Like, popularity does not good or bad music make. Popularity is just that popularity but i see a lot of fans who are just they act in every way like the kind of noob fans that you wish they didn't act like and it makes me wonder like was i really that bad when i was a teenager i know we were obnoxious to other fandoms but like there was a facebook post that they had where um where their drummer won drummer of the year for 2022 and uh you know anybody who um may not know cuz I don't know how known it is I you know I live in the world that I do when it comes to fucking music I apologize All right I want to see what this ice is this seems epic Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but fine. Oh. That's way more lame than I was hoping it was going to be. I got a fishing rod for that? Weird. Um. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, my God. I know where I'm supposed to be going, but I don't know if I'm there right now. I, I kind of forget. Where am I at? Uh, yes, correct place. Take a little walk. Build up our funds a little bit. Especially while I talk. But anyway, um... They're, uh... Like I said, they're drummer one, drummer of the year for 2022. <coughs> That's rude. And... I saw more than enough. Like, it wasn't one. It wasn't two. It was a good amount. Um, they had an old drummer who was kicked out of the band at some point in the mid-2000s in the mid -tens and just passed away, like, a year ago or some shit like that. And, you know, this guy wins Drummer of the Year, their new drummer, and the entire fan base not the entire I, again it's an ex that's that's an exaggeration but it was definitely more than it should have been a whole bunch of them are just sitting there being like well the old drummer was better and it's like bro who even gives a fuck that what like the old drummer was better like the idea that somebody gets any sort of accomplishment like that and then all the fans, supposedly, of that band can think of 
to say is like, oh, well, the other drummer was better. It's like, man, bro, you fucking suck. Like, what a shitty thing to type out. I couldn't imagine. That shit couldn't be me. I apologize. My nose is super stuffy. So I'm going to sound like my nose is plugged up. Because it basically is. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, at least one of them died anyway. Alright, that's cool. I don't mind that at all. But I mean... That just kind of shows to me, like... A kind of, like, really toxic fan base that comes with... Anything being that incredibly popular. Like, it's still not popular as far as, like, most of the mainstream culture is concerned. But, like... It's popular enough. <clears throat> they had enough albums debut at number one on the Billboard for them to be popular. Well, that's why some other fans also kind of piss me off with certain shit. Because they'll say things like... <coughs> God damn. As you can see, I am still feeling under the weather from this past weekend. It's great. All right, hold on. Listen to peaceful music. I'm going to blow my nose. I feel like you need a bag of fucking flaming Hot Cheetos just to keep my nose clean. But, you know, with me mentioning that they've been, you know, number one on the Billboard, they had, like, four albums in a row, and their newest one was number two. So, like, they're big enough. And then you see, like, fans that are like, Ugh, you're, the, you're the very corporate thing that you said you once hated. And it's like, bro, this is Slipknot. Like, who the fuck? Where are, where are you located? Because, again, not really mainstream as far as, like, the world goes, but, like, mainstream nonetheless. I mean, shit, now I'm, I'm, I'm curious, just out of interest. Ha <laughs> 69. Ha <laughs> Like, I spend most of my time in, like, the power and traditional metal, like, underground. So, like, here, we're going to do this real fast. Uh, whoop. We'll go, um, yeah, there's Slipknot. Uh, also, Druk, um, some black metal. Definitely something worth checking out. We'll just look up something that's, uh... This band called Stallion. Now, look, this is one of the most popular bands in this scene 224,000 listens on Spotify 70 252 117 89 like this is in what's that realm that excuse me that is like one of the most popular and one singular single uno one song actually has crested the uh only one of them has actually crested the fucking the quarter mill mark like that should let you know like what you're dealing with in terms of like popularity so when I see like fans that are like Oh, you're the very corporate thing. It's like, bro. Like, one of Slipknot's songs, one of them, on YouTube, you've killed Blue. I hate you. Alright. 
we need to get uh, Karn's transformations back. I'm now back with, like, stronger enemies. Dick, dick, dick. I still want to get her that experience, so we're going to do it again. But I know, like, you look up any one of, like, Slipknot's, Slipknot's random songs, and it's got, like, in the tens of millions of, like, listens. So, like, when I see a lot of fans of, like, you know, I, I am going to be a little elitist here for a minute. I am going to be, I'm going to be the meme, and I apologize. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize, kind of, sort of, not really. But it seems like sometimes... A lot of these fans of, like, more mainstream things, it seems like some of these fans kind of forget. Th they forget themselves. I won't say that they forget their place. But that's also definitely true. But then, you know, like I said, when I see them, like, treat their own, like, drummer like that, of the band that they like. Yep. Into the dream world we go. Now we get to my two favorite dungeons, both in a row. I love this, this area. Who are you? Where do you come from? Do you have a bolster? We can't get rid of the spell-casting monster. Cool. Wait. Is that all they say? Monsters in the North Tower, please rescue Mogu. Okay, it won't even let me leave. Which is fine, it's like I want to. I am Mogu's fear. I want to destroy the monster, but I'm afraid. <coughs> My apologies. I'm Mogu's humor. Don't worry, be happy. I'm Mogu's reason. Mogu will be whole only when we are all united. Okay, well that's not helpful. No, just sketchy ass cubby. I'm Mogu's anger. I can't help you because anger doesn't solve any problems. Clever. One sec again. Ooh, we are definitely, we are, I mean, I guess you could say either we are feeling it, Mr. Krabs, or we are not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I am Moku Sorrow. The absence of courage has separated us all. Courage is what keeps you together. Why do you have this music in here? Item shop. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. Ooh, only 10? It gets me my MP up, or AP, whatever. And we will also save here in a second. Anything in here? Nope. But yeah, you know, me being the elitist that I can be when it comes to music, like, I still listen to, like, mainstream shit. I don't give a fuck about any of that. Oh yeah, that's fear. A good bop is a good bop. And musically, my policy, generally, is I should be able, if anybody puts on a CD, an actual album, by any artist, any, any artist, 
there should be at least one song that I like on there. At least. Ooh, I forgot. I have to put... I already said I was going to do Karn's fucking bullshit. Nice. I said I was going to do that and I forgot to do it. Excellent. But if you listen to a lot of underground music, you're not supposed to, like, at that point then, stop liking and appreciating, like, more mainstream music. Like, we all do that when we're kids, because, you know, you're a kid and you think you're fucking better than everyone else. So, of course, you're gonna do that. What is that? I feel like I remember having to go somewhere else other than just up there. So for those enemies, still use the, uh... Still use the Whatchamahoosic. E-key. <coughs> Alright, the North Tower. Alright, so see that button? Boink! That turns off all the walls. You can't see them. You touch those, it reappears them. So you have to kind of picture where you're going at certain points when everything disappears on you. I remember when I was a kid, this being like a place that fucked with me. And then as I got older, it didn't really bother me as much. Now that I haven't played it in a while, we'll see how it, how it works for me. There's a gimmick in the next dungeon, too, that we'll go over when we get there, but that one was... Um, actually, if you knew the secret, it's actually very easy to deal with. That's where we gotta get. We gotta get in there. And of course it was funny because, you know, when I complained to the fan, I, I made a post on their little face on their Facebook page. Not little, I mean, it's a Facebook page. Um, I remember there was one guy who replied to me who was like, me complaining about the fan base. Just being like, man, this guy wins drummer of the year and all you guys can do is like, compliment more the ex-band member who like, even if everything ended on good terms, which I think it more or less did, I think, ish. Um, like, the fact that that's all you can do to celebrate is compliment somebody else. It's just like, man, that's really shitty to do to your own fucking, to the bandmates of a band that you supposedly like. Like, And I complained about it in some, wasn't there one that was like up here somewhere? I have no idea where I'm going. Sweet. I do not like this. Guaranteed, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Nina, so close. Going for the AOE route, huh? Douche.
But you know, when I made that complaint, and then I get like, some dude who messages me, like, leaves a remark, and he was like, ugh, look at you just being all triggered. And it's just like, honestly, yeah, a little bit. The fact that you guys would, like, treat a band member of a band that you like like this is actually really fucked up. It's not like it's the drummer's fault in that way that he's filling in for the old drummer. If I don't, if I remember correctly, I think Joey Jordison, like, it was pretty hush-hush. But before he passed away, I think the reason he had to stop playing was because he was having some sort of medical issue that was basically making it so he was unable to play. Like, entirely. His body was incapable of playing. And, like, that's pretty fucked up and pretty fucking heartbreaking. Oh my god. Ooh boy. There's going to be a lot of fucking extra battles going on here, folks. You know what? Use the E key. <coughs> 30 damage on each would be kind of nice. Oh god, so nasty. Dick face. Dick waffle, dick waffle, dick waffle, fuck. Ox 23, ayy. Wait, the other guys didn't even get hit. Alright, so I just basically went in the full ass, whole ass circle. Ooh, ooh. But I found a way, a special way that I didn't find last time. Having a little Doom experience of learning how to run your face along the wall. This is an excellent skill that comes in handy in more than just Doom. Using it in a turn-based RPG game with, uh... With what's it called? Um, uh, random encounters? Ballsy move, game. Ballsy move. But you know what? You only made me do one lap. I was able to figure it out. I feel like most people should be able to figure that one out. <coughs> Definitely an asshole maneuver. Fine, I'll just fucking beat your ass the old-fashioned way. Standing up on two feet. Blue, level 30. Hell yeah. Nova. And here we are. As long as Mogu's are, uh, senses are scattered, you won't have a chance against me. Do you want to fight? Yes. If you want to run, I'll let you. Alright. Not able to actually beat this guy. All right, now we run. Now he's happier, he's happy as fucking horse shit over here. All right, and then we got to go back. We got to find the the mogu that we need. Out of all of, I think we have to find the courage, and then we come back and we beat his ass the correct way. But uh, we'll do that next time, guys. Till then, take it easy.